So I wanted to tell you guys about some things that have been going on with me the past couple weeks. I actually had uh, an opportunity to go to a conference at the Faith Life Now Church in New Albany. It was actually a like a business leadership conference. And before I really go into that, I have to tell you that the pastor there, Gary Cassie, and his wife, Drenda, I mean, God has just blessed these people with, with a knowledge and a wisdom and an understanding of finances and the kingdom of God. You wouldn't even believe um, he's just expounded to them so much um, about finances, you know, in the word of God, he's just opened up so many things to them. So just going to this church right off the bat was a blessing. Just seeing how, I mean, these people, there is no type of lack in this body. There's no type of woe is me spirit. There's no type of poor, broke down type spirit at all. Um, the assembly is just blessed. The people there are blessed. Uh, God has just opened up so many doors, um, just so many avenues in the way of building the kingdom of God and building finances, building, um, building wealth. So at the conference, the first seminar that I was in, um, the guy that taught the seminar, he's actually a member of the church there. And he was basically just talking about how him and his wife, you know, they came from humble beginnings and things were kind of tight. And he, uh, God gave him an idea. And this idea was basically to help build the business he already had. And he was talking about how you know, the idea, you know, it took time for him to, you know, get things moving with, with this vision that God had given him. But at the end result, you know, God had just completely blown up their business. And he was just saying he never thought this would happen. And basically all this came from an idea. He had been seeking God for help with his finances. He needed to be able to take care of his family. And God gave him an idea and because he moved on the idea, God was able to bless him and his wife beyond what they couldn't even, you know, even imagine. Um, so he was basically just trying to encourage us. The seminar was to encourage us. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I did just start a real estate business the end of last year. So this seminar was really what I needed. And it's not like the things that they were saying at the seminar I never heard before, but it was just... I'm different, so I needed that for this time. You know, it was, I've heard it before, but something in me is different. So hearing those words, it, it came to me in a different way. And he was just basically saying that God is no respecter of persons. What he can do for them, he can do for you. And that just struck me, you know, again, it's not nothing I've never heard before, but I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that God is not a respecter of persons. Not one person is more special than the other. If he can do it for you, he can do it for me. But he was saying, um, now get this, he was saying in the conference, you know, what makes me different from you is that some of you have the idea, some of you have the dream, some of you have the visions, and you never act on it. You never do anything with what God gave you. And if that's who you are, then you need to change yourself right now because you're never going to get to where you need to be. And he was saying, I, I basically, when God gave me the idea, I moved on it. And that's what we have to do, you guys. I just want to encourage you. When God gives you something, when he gives you an idea, when he gives you a vision, a dream, we need to be moving on it. It's later for doing nothing. That's that's lame. It's later for that. You know, we have to be able to say, you know what, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what, I don't know how I'm going to get to where I need to get, but I'm going to go with what you say do. And if we do that, we're going to be blessed. I don't want to be the type of person who prays the same prayer year after year after year. And God has given me the answer years ago, but because I didn't do what God said do, I'm still praying that same prayer. So I just want to encourage you guys. If God gives you something, then we need to be doing it. Please do it for my sake and your sake. And we have to remember too, it's not always just about us. It's not always for us. The things that we go through, the testimony, the trial that we go through, it's not just for us. It's always for somebody else. So when God gives you something, he means for you to move on it because it's not just going to upbuild you. It's not just going to benefit you, but it's going to build someone else up. They'll be able to look at you and say, well, you know what? That person did it. That person went through it. So I know that I can too. So I just want to encourage you guys. God is no respecter of persons. What he did for me, he can do for you. 
what he can do for her, he can do for her. So, you guys, shut up and do it. Just get up and do it. When God has something for you to do, when he has a vision, when he has a dream, he has something that's so deep down inside of you, it's the answer to your prayer. God gave me the answer to my prayer and shame on me, like my mom has been saying, shame on me if I don't do it. Shame on me. He has given me the blueprint. He gave me the roadmap. All I got to do is get up and do it. Shame on me if I don't. So I just, again, just want to encourage you guys. If you have something that you're seeking God about, number one, be expecting him to answer. And when he answers, be ready to move. So um, I just wanted to give you guys that um, because it has, it's been on my heart. So hope you're having a good week and I'll talk to you soon. All right.